I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and the aim of today was to go and find a cafe on this ride in a place called Todmorden and if you are from the posh areas it is Todmorden and if you're from round here it's Todd or Todmorden anyway I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching so here we are just outside the town hall and we're trying to plan where to go because the weather is pretty foggy and having agreed a route that we could do that would take us over towards Todmorden we set off and when you're out riding communication is always key and we tell each other here that there's a car behind car back away So having left Bury, we made our way towards Ramsbottom and then over towards Rottenstall and eventually we climbed up, uh, it's the climb of Dunnockshaw, which is above Burnley. And then we take a right turn which eventually brings us out onto the gorge of Cliviger where we drop down into Todmorden for a well-earned break at the cafe. We pick up this video now, just on the outskirts of Todmorden, and we're working together as a team, trying to keep the pace high, and again, we're not racing. This is quite a fast section of road, the tarmac's pretty good, if we're around 30 miles per hour here. And as you can see, we're just taking turns, alternating the work at the front. Just got to be mindful that there is a playground on the right. And here comes Steve, and he likes to do his turn at the front as well. We all do work well together. This actually turned out to be quite a long leg that Steve did on the front. And to be honest, my legs were feeling it a little bit here, because I've been riding quite a lot recently. Every time someone goes to the front, it just keeps the pace ticking along nicely. Again, you're always taking the wind when you're at the front and the people who are just behind you, they're saving energy and in fact you really do benefit from the drafting effect. Probably the guys two or three behind me, they'll be free wheeling at this point. Whilst while you're at the front, you are working pretty hard to keep the pace high. We're doing around 30 miles per hour all along this section. And as we went under the bridge there, Lee just came flying through, absolutely nailing it there. It really was a good turn of pace. And then we've all got to talk to each other again, communicate, because ahead there's some temporary lights on red, which really, really broke up the pace. We had that going then. 
Yeah. Here we are now on the section with lots of bends and turns. Be very careful when you're coming down here. We are carrying speed. Again, we're hitting around 34 miles an hour, I'd say, on this bit. And you've got some grids on some of your exit points. Just following Owen. Looks like Lee and Steve have really got the pace ahead. And if Owen doesn't bridge the gap, they will get away. Again, this big right-hand bend here can catch you out. Just take your time, get round it. There, you can see the gaps are already pretty good. So as the two lead men keep the pace high and go around that bend, you can see where the gap very quickly increases. Again, I must stress, we're not racing. We're enjoying a good section of road where we can carry some pace. Owen's just holding the gap there. It's not going to get any bigger now. And Owen will do his bit at the front, and he's a very strong rider. We're about a mile from Tomerden Centre at the moment and we've only got one thing on our mind and that's to get to the cafe. We're in Tomerden, we've found a cafe called the Little, the little Bird. It's called the Little Bird. Owen would like to just mention something. We're all in, we're all in, where are we? Todd Morden. For our southern viewers, Todd Mordal. For our Yorkshire and Lancashire, Todd Morden. Todd Morden. Todd. We're in Todd. You know, when we did that, I didn't think that butter tubs were as hard as what everyone makes. Did you not do it? Hello. Shall we go to your chair? Do you do a pot of tea, please? Tea, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. What are we all knowing? Scrambled egg, salmon, posh, rain toast. Mate? Grover. Black pudding. Black pudding. Have you had yours? Yeah. He's on a scone. Cal's scone. Cal's had nothing. We all eat. Full breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that is a breakfast, isn't it? We'll get an ambulance for <laughs> Here we are, eating loads and loads actually. To be honest, that breakfast was massive. And the big thing about these bike rides is finding the right cafe and having the social time and lots of bike talk. And having polished off a big breakfast, it was time to get back on the road. And to be honest, I think we should have ridden for another 65 miles to burn them calories off. And here we are just making our way back home on the final section of the day. Nice little downhill bit all the way into the village. Today's ride was over 43 miles with 2,500 feet of climbing. Anyway, if you like these videos, let me know and I will make some more for you.